all my tall girls out there. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of like, I've never been, having been able to find boyfriend jeans that looked good on me. So I snagged this pair of jeans and I was like, you know what, forget it. Even though it's not really my size, at least it makes me look better than any other boyfriend jeans I've ever tried on. They're still kind of like form fitting to my hips, which again is, yeah, better than any other boyfriend jeans I've had, but it's not really the boyfriend jean Look, if that makes sense, like, <laughs> and um, these jeans are also a little bit short on me, and so they make me like kind of stubby. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm here for. Yes. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So today I'm going to teach you how to lengthen your jeans by up to two inches, and you do that by adding a fake cuff. It's fake because it looks like your jeans are just cuffed and folded over, but actually you've added that material to lengthen the jeans. The first thing you want to do is buy some denim material that matches the color of your jeans. So take your jeans with you into the fabric store, it will make things a lot easier. And this is the weird part, you actually want to match the back of your denim jeans to the back of the denim that you buy, not the front. So in mine, the front color is actually pretty different, but I matched the back shade to be the same. And you want to buy a quarter yard of fabric. It's more than you would think. That will give you just enough to do the cuff and a little bit extra. First, take off your jeans and measure the width at the bottom. Measure both sides and take the average. Multiply this by two, Add one inch and label it on a sheet of paper as measurement A. Then decide how long you want your cuff. I would suggest something between one and three inches. I chose two. Then multiply this number by three, add one inch, and label it as measurement B. Then get your extra denim fabric. Notice how the front of the jeans are a different shade, but we don't really care about that because the back matches perfectly. Now fold your denim fabric in half and mark a rectangle that's measurement A wide and measurement B long. Now cut on this line. Now take your rectangles and fold them in half on the long side. The wrong, or the lighter side of the denim, should be facing out, and the raw edges should face the inside of the legs. Draw a straight line in chalk a half inch away from the raw edge, as shown. Now it's time to sew on that line. You can use a sewing machine, but I'm going to show you the beginner sewers how to hand sew it. So thread a needle with some brown thread that matches the color of the stitching on your jeans. Pull a good amount of it through, about a foot of thread, then tie a few knots at the end of the thread and start sewing. Keep your stitches small so that, you know, it'll stay secure. Once you get to the end, just tie three or four knots and then cut off the loose threads. Press the seam open like so and iron it. Then slide the cuff over the legs of your jeans, making sure that the sewn edge is facing the inside of the legs, while the folded edge is facing the outside. Align the edge of the cuff with the edge of the jeans and pin it in place. Now we're going to sew on that edge, so you do this the exact same way that you sewed the last step. Take off the pins when you're all done and pull the cuff down like so. Now the right side or the darker side of the denim should be visible on the outside. Don't worry, this is not the final look, just stay with me. 
we're going to cuff the attached denim piece by folding it into thirds. Once it's all folded, the edge of the cuff should barely pass the seam, which is where you've attached it. That way the seam is nicely hidden underneath the cuff and it looks like you've just cuffed your jeans. Iron the cuff down. Now we're going to make a couple of stitches on the side seams to keep the cuff permanently folded. Turn your jeans to the side seam on the outside of the leg and make a couple of stitches at the top of the cuff to keep it in place. Now bring the thread to the inside of the jeans and make some sturdy knots. Then cut off the excess and repeat this on the side seam on the inside of the leg. Once you're done with that, <laughs> repeat it once again on the side seams of the other pant leg. Also, this cute black and white stripe on the side here, it's, it's more than just looks. We added it to widen the hips of these jeans for my friend Natalie. I will link that video in the top right corner as soon as I have it up. Finally, you're all done! Just tug on your cuffs to give it a quick check that it's securely attached and your fake cuff will not unravel. Nobody will ever know that it's not a real cuff. So go ahead and rock your jeans. And this is how it looks when it's all done. So it just looks like another regular old cuff. Comment below and tell me what your biggest problem is when buying jeans. I'm thinking about doing a whole series on just altering jeans to fit you. Like if you like this video, subscribe if you want more do-it-yourself fashion and tips, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Gotta get low. Jump to the flow. Oh,